Now to that developing news, the first COVID-19 vaccine being tested in the United States. Researchers with Moderna, a Massachusetts-based biotech company, reporting some promising results. So now it is on its way to a larger study to prove that the shots really do work. Alexandra Leslie is joining us live with what scientists understand about this so far. Well, it's important to note that these results are from the first stage of the trial back in March. 45 healthy younger volunteers took the vaccine. Now, the vaccine is in two doses, which are given a month apart. The team reported those who got two doses had high levels of antibodies, and they also exceeded the average levels seen in people who had already recovered from the virus. Researchers say there were no serious side effects. However, more than half did report some flu-like reactions, fatigue, headache, chills, fever, and some pain at the injection site, which as we know are not uncommon with other vaccines. Now, vaccine experts say that's a small price to pay for protection against COVID, which would not inhibit researchers from moving on to their larger study with 30,000 volunteers of different ages and health conditions. The National Institutes of Health has the world's largest study of a potential COVID-19 vaccine so far. We don't want to rush the science and we all know that developing vaccines is a difficult process. It's not always a straight line. So if everything works well, we can anticipate maybe the beginning of the year sometime, first quarter of the year, we might have some results. Now, there are still other vaccines being tested around the world, and researchers say this will be crucial in order to spot rare side effects. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.